Hello and welcome to the Junior Doctor and Dentist Award Presentation Ceremony. The awards event is now in its fourth year to celebrate the work of the many junior doctors and dentists prior to training grade doctors rotating in August and potentially moving out of the trust. Unfortunately, this presentation has had to be minimised due to the ongoing COVID-19 regulations and ensure everyone's the safe is safe as we do it. However, we hope that this still remains a meaningful celebration of the work of the many junior doctor and dentists across Leeds Teaching Hospitals Trust. This year, we've had seven award categories which have recognised excellence in inclusivity and diversity, innovation and research, leadership, quality improvement, teaching and training, and team working. We've also had an award following the great work of Dr. Kate Granger, an elderly medicine physician who was a trainee and patient in the Trust and Campaign for Patient-Centred Care, the Kate Granger Award for Compassionate Care. Over 110 nominations were received from across the different hospital sites and specialities with nominations for all levels of junior, foundation year trainees up to senior registrars and speciality doctors. It's been great to see that this year teams of junior doctors were also nominated together reflecting how people have pulled together to ensure the smooth running of departments across the trust. The shortlisting teams have felt really privileged and honoured to read about the amazing work being done to improve patient care, to ensure Leeds is at the forefront of research and innovation across Yorkshire and the Humber, and to provide patients with compassionate and dignified healthcare. Whilst the awards will be going to eight trainees, the awards do reflect the wider work of the medical and dental teams across the Trust, and everyone nominated should be hugely proud. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Phil Wood and I'm the Chief Medical Officer here at the Trust. The first award to be announced this year is the Recognition of Excellence in Leadership Award. Trainees have been nominated across a broad range of specialties, oncology, theatres, obstetrics and gynaecology, paediatrics, orthopaedics, dentistry, respiratory and endocrine medicine. It's been great reading about the different leadership roles these trainees have taken on. Nominations have shown evidence of trainees using their voice in advocation of increasing support for children on the wards during COVID, showing compassion in times of stressful working conditions and driving forward the trainee voice in departments to make improvements and ensure trainees can play an active role in the trust. The winner of the Excellence in Leadership Award this year was nominated by five different colleagues across their department and has taken on the role of the Departmental Lead Registrar. Nominations reference their excellent communication skills, signposting to resources, ability to develop colleagues and also ensuring trainees are able to socialise with each other despite the pandemic restrictions. The Award for Recognition of Excellence in Leadership for 2020-21 goes to Dr Joanna Gibson, Registrar in Obstetrics and Gynaecology. Well done, Joanna. Thank you very much for uh, this award. I didn't realise it would be a proper award, so I'm very grateful. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to whoever nominated me, my teammate that nominated me. Um, to all my team in O&G, um, I've worked with an amazing group of people this year and I really couldn't have done this without them. Um, also my college tutors have been incredible and the consultants who have helped me and the clinical director and the clinical leads have been amazing so thank you very much for all your help and we really appreciate it and thank you to the junior doctor body and the leadership fellows for this, I really appreciate it. Thank you, bye bye. Two other trainees were considered to have highly commendable nominations. Dr Alex Rennick is an FY2 in the Cardiorespiratory CSU who despite only being qualified two years has been working to improve the working lives of trainees across cardiology and cardiac surgery. It was thought he showed excellent leadership skills despite being early in his career journey and as the only foundation trainee to be nominated in this category he really stood out as a leader of the future. Dr Alex Fonfey a paediatric trainee working in neonatal medicine who has been influencing on a national scale during the pandemic for parents and neonates to 
to ensure that adequate parent-child bonding is possible despite COVID visiting restrictions. Congratulations to all those nominated. Hello, my name's Dr Anna Winfield. I'm an Associate Specialist in LD Medicine and Quality Improvement. We now move on to the category of Recognition of Excellence in Quality Improvement. As a shortlisting team, we have really loved reading all of the projects which have been going on across the Trust to ensure that patient care continues to be improved and developed during the COVID-19 pandemic. It has been truly inspiring to read the wide range of things junior doctors have been supporting and leading over the last 12 months. This was a really tough category to judge and we have quite a few people deserving of special mentions for their work. The winner of the Excellence in Quality Improvement Award this year goes to a trainee who was able to translate evidence-based practice from the literature into a significant improvement in practice. She recognised the challenge new parents often find when their babies are required to be admitted to the neonatal unit following delivery and that missing out on delivery room cuddles was potentially causing parent and baby to miss out on a vital opportunity for bonding, breastfeeding and colonisation. This has led to an improvement from 0% of preterm infants having delivery room cuddles to 95% now being able to enjoy this. The introduction of this has been safe, effective and sustained and is now a standard of care that staff would not want to be without. The award for recognition of excellence in quality improvement goes to Dr Caroline Fraser and her delivery room cuddles improvement project. Congratulations Caroline. Uh, thank you very much for this. I was completely blindsided by the nomination, let alone the win. So thank you very much to the whole neonatal team for embracing this project and making it the success story that it is today. And um, long may it continue. As there were several other excellent quality improvement projects nominated, three other nominees have been highly commended for their work. Dr Claire Arneal, Specialty Registrar in Emergency Medicine, whose work in introducing Penthrox to the ED has significantly improved the waiting times and safety for patients needing shoulder manipulation in the ED, freeing up staff time and reducing the need for sedation. Dr Amara Azif, internal medicine trainee in oncology, who has worked to reduce the risk of central venous access device-associated infection by empowering staff and using 10-minute short burst learning activities, she has reduced bloodstream infections across the oncology CSU by 50% in one month. Dr Sean Taylor, Foundation Year One doctor, who has been working within the Discharge Collaborative, she has been incredibly committed and has used exemplary QI methodology and is using this to go from strength to strength despite having to complete her first year of postgraduate training in the COVID-19 pandemic. Congratulations to all those nominated and I hope you continue to work on quality improvement projects in future rotations to ensure the continued delivery of the highest quality patient care. Hello, my name is Esther Jamera. I'm senior project nurse in corporate nursing and a professional development team. We now move on to the award for recognition of excellence in inclusivity and diversity. Celebrating diversity and ensuring equitable access to healthcare services and education continues to become an increasingly clear priority through COVID and beyond. It has been incredibly humbling to see the work of junior doctors and dentists in LTHT working hard to ensure that those from vulnerable minority backgrounds have continued to be supported through the pandemic. The winner of the inclusivity and diversity category this year has worked both within their own specialist field whilst also helping in the rollout of COVID and flu vaccines and supporting those more junior to them. They've done impressive work into improving access to dental care for the homeless and children from deprived backgrounds where oral health inequalities are stuck. 
the award for recognition of excellence in inclusivity and diversity this year goes to Dr. Stefan Seban in the Dental Public Health team. Congratulations, Stefan. Thank you very much for this great honor. It's very humbling. I would like to thank my fabulous colleagues from Leeds Teaching Hospital Trust, from Public Health England, from NHS England Dental Commissioning Team, from Health Education England and the University of Leeds, and of course our wonderful patients. Thank you very much. We also wanted to recognize two people as highly commended for their work this year. We highly commend Dr. Hannah Baham Brown, a GP trainee and deputy leader of the Women's Equality Party. Her work into raising awareness for and making positive changes to those living with a disability has been tireless. It is certain that this work will reach far beyond just the patients she has direct contact with. And we also highly commend Dr. Kain Piu, a sexual health and HIV medicine trainee, who has been an amazing advocate for patients across a range of backgrounds, including young adults, sex workers, and people who inject drugs. She is also an active member of the BME staff network here at LTHT. She is a pleasure to work with, as an advocate, friend, and colleague. Many congratulations to all those nominated. It is wonderful to see how junior doctors and dentists are working to ensure an inclusive work environment and celebrating the diverse backgrounds of staff and patients at LTHT. Hello, my name is Ali Cracknell and I'm Associate Medical Director for Quality Improvement at the Trust. It's my absolute pleasure to announce the award for recognition of excellence in team working. This was an incredibly difficult category to select a winner from with over 50 nominations. It is clear that our junior doctors and dentists have been integrating themselves into the wide range of teams across the Trust. It's truly humbling to read the ways in which juniors have helped to create positive work environments and made LTHT a place where work can be enjoyed despite the pressures of the pandemic over the last year. The winner of the Team Working Award this year really did shine out as having impressed the whole of the multidisciplinary team with nominations from peers, junior colleagues, ward and specialist nurses and pharmacists. It was clear that she's been able to ensure all team members feel welcomed, listened to, but she has also brought cheer and humour to the workplace. The respect from her colleagues is clear throughout all of her seven nominations in this category. So it's my pleasure to present the award for recognition of excellence in team working to Dr. Meni Rompola, Specialist Registrar in Haematology. We have also selected two nominations as highly commended for their team working in this category. Firstly, Mr. Ahmed Gonima, a specialist registrar working in general and transplant surgery, who has been nominated by his team, who wanted to recognise his phenomenal work ethic, his caring and considerate manner, and his dedication to putting patients first. He has also shown support for the well-being and integration of new staff into the team. He has hugely impressed the surgical team, who are all clearly very fond of him. Secondly, highly commended is Dr. Natalie James. She's an emergency department registrar whose team wanted to recognise the huge efforts she had gone to during the pandemic. She was focused on ensuring junior doctors got adequate time away from work to recover despite the pressure the department was under during COVID. All this whilst gaining her certificate for eligibility for specialist registration. It's been wonderful to read all the nominations and we're proud to see how many junior doctors and dentists are clearly just great staff to work with. Thank you to you all.
I'm Professor Chris Twelves. I'm a medical oncologist at uh, Leeds Teaching Hospitals Trust, but over the last year I was also a Director of Research and Innovation. And I think what we saw over that year when I was in, the, in that position is just how important both research and innovation have been in the context of the COVID pandemic and looking further ahead. In the research and innovation category this year, we have had a great range of nominations from people making innovative changes to work, producing cost savings, reducing waste, and reducing the burden of follow-up for patients and those who have been working in, uh, to ensure research continued to take place during the pandemic. Reflecting the quality of the uh, nominations we have, we have selected two winners in this category, both of whom have excelled, one within research and the other with innovative solutions to an important clinical problem. Our first winner is a surgical trainee who has made huge cost savings to the department by reviewing the renal cancer follow-up schedule, engaging with elderly medicine uh, teams, and has created a process by which patients can have a personalised care plan developed for them based on that patient's wishes, fitness and needs and this has made a saving of £25,000 by reducing the burden of scans in just three clinics. So the first winner in recognition of excellence in research and innovation is Miss Anna Wright, who is a Speciality Registrar in Urology. Hello, thank you for this award. It really does mean a lot to have uh, all the efforts that I've put into this clinic recognised. Um, it's something that I'm really proud of, I think, as a trust at Leeds we should all be proud of. It's unique to Leeds. Um, provides tailored follow-up, um, individualised follow-up with a collaborative working joint decision making with the geriatricians um, for all the renal cancer patients and it's uh, something I think we should be definitely very proud of. Um, sorry I can't be there to collect the board. Uh, this little one arrived four days ago and she had alternative plans for the day. Um, obviously I couldn't have done this without the whole team effort and uh, urologist who has supported this uh, new service throughout. It's also been an inspirational mentor and uh, fundamental in shaping my career and um, many of the trainees before me. Um, Sharina Nair, consultant geriatrician who um, was passionate enough to keep this service running that she came in for a clinic day on a day of annual leave. Um, to Michelle and Annalise Peach, the uh, urology specialist nurses. We couldn't have provided this service without you. Um, so thank you all and uh, hopefully we'll be back soon. Our second winner has been working within cardiology but also pursuing research opportunities during this time. He has helped secure £78,000 grant funding from the NIHR and helped to recruit over 3,000 participants to a research trial to ensure that Yorkshire and the Humber are now at the, in the lead in the rankings for accrual to cardiology studies in England. Congratulations on winning this award, Dr. Ben Herbus. Hi everyone, I thought to cap at the ceremony. Um, I just want to send um, a quick message to say thank you to everyone that supported me, particularly the uh, cardiovascular epidemiology group. They're a great team um, and they all share this award. We've got lots of great work coming up soon, um, so thank you. Hello, my name is Dipesh Dedra and I'm the Director of Postgraduate Medical and Dental Education. The next award to be presented is a recognition of excellence in teaching and training. COVID has meant huge adjustments have had to be made to ensure that junior doctors and dentists training has been able to continue. Reading the nominations, it has been great to see the hard work and dedication which has been put in by juniors to maintain training, both for themselves, but also those more junior to them in the department. Some innovative training solutions have been devised and delivered. The winner of the Teaching and Training Award this year is a surgical trainee who has taken on the role of ensuring that foundation year trainees rotating through the de surgical department have continued to receive training this year. Her positive attitude has impacted not just on those more junior to her, but has extended out further into the department also. She has shown a huge dedication to the role and the Emergency General Surgical Team have found her input hugely helpful. The winner of the Recognition of Excellence in Teaching and Training is Helen Skinner, 
core surgical trainee. We also selected some trainees who we wanted to highly commend for their nominations. Beth Pullen is a trainee working in the intensive care team, really stood out for her passion in reinstating MDT teaching. Her smile, energy and enthusiasm really came through in the nomination and she has clearly had a huge impact on the team. Kate Gaffney, a trainee working in respiratory medicine who has impressed the team with her clinical knowledge and the maturity she brings to her role. She has been integral in assisting the ongoing teaching and training of fifth year medical students rotating through the respiratory medicine department, organising and facilitating regular learning sessions. Dan Townley and Rasmus Knudsen have been working within the Clinical Practice Centre as teaching fellows this year. They have developed a new teaching handbook and have also used augmented reality to allow the teaching of second year medical students at home. They are a dedicated, enterprising and empowering pair of whom their department have found a pleasure to work with. Hello, my name is Chris Poynton. The final award for presentation this year is the Kate Granger Award for Compassionate Care. Kate was passionate about ensuring that patients are always at the forefront of the work in healthcare and through the introduction of the hashtag Hello My Name Is campaign, we started a huge wave of work in healthcare to improve compassion. Through this award, Kate's legacy is able to continue inspiring junior doctors to ensure compassionate care is delivered across the NHS and here at LTHT, where Kate was also a patient and a doctor. This year, some wonderful nominations were received where junior doctors and dentists have gone above and beyond to ensure that patients get the best care and that their families also receive a high quality service when they have not always been able to visit during the pandemic. The person selected as the winner this year is a foundation trainee who has perhaps received the highest praise, that his team would be so happy if he were to be looking after their loved one. He puts in the extra effort to ensure that patients and their families receive the best care even after death, coming in on annual leave to ensure swift completion of death certificates so that families are able to register the death in time. He is well liked in the MDT and takes responsibility for his work and the team. So the winner of the Kate Grange Award for Compassionate Care this year goes to Dr Luke Hatton. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's very kind. Um... We also selected two trainees who we thought deserve recognition as highly commended. Dr Naomi Taylor is a specialty registrar in paediatric palliative medicine who works hard to ensure that advanced planning takes place to ensure that children with life-limiting conditions are able to live life the way they wish and plans are made for their death. She demonstrates her compassion, not only in the conversations she has had, but even in her documentation. Dr. Zaminda Brake, a trainee in obstetrics and gynaecology, who demonstrated extraordinary compassion in an acute situation to save the life of a mother and baby, and continued to demonstrate her caring nature beyond this as she visited mum during her recovery, even when this was not her role that day. She ensured that the team also had the right psychological support after the event also. Congratulations to both of these highly commended junior doctors and all those who were nominated this year. I'm sure you'll join me in again congratulating all of those who've won an award today and all those who've been nominated and wish them every success in their future careers. Thank you. <laughs>